put it back together after the service. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you don't know like I know what he done for me. If you really, had, really knew what he done for me, you wouldn't be looking to be all funny. Told you to put your toes in your pocket today because I got... Hallelujah. Okay. I'm, I, I'm warning y'all. I'm giving y'all a moment to praise him because I'm getting ready to go down your street. You, 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 you need to go ahead and praise him now because you might not want to praise him when I go on in to the message here in a few minutes. Anybody familiar with my preaching? Y'all get an idea already? Uh-oh. Tell your neighbor some trouble getting ready. Getting ready to start some trouble in this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to sell me some advertisement for the radio for Easter. And I was, you know, really professional. I didn't laugh in his face. Like, please, you don't know nothing about church. You ain't got to buy no advertisement for Easter. And they ain't coming no other time. They're coming for Easter. Look out, look out here, look out here, look out here. So I need to say what the Lord would have me to say while you in the house. Mm -hmm. What if he did not die for you and I? What if he refused to go to that cross? What if he said, I won't die for them? You must have a crucifixion before you can have a resurrection. You must first go by the way of the cross before you can have get up good Sunday morning. They had to be a Friday before there was a Sunday. So I need to take you back to crucifixion so that you might understand resurrection. Too many of us don't understand crucifixion and that's why we can't shout as hard as we've been trying to get you to shout today. Because you really don't know really how much it costs. Y'all heard the song but it didn't, it, it, the revelation didn't come. The most selfless man that ever lived. He was totally innocent and he died for every one of us that are guilty he was willing to die for every man and woman and boy and girl in this room what if he said i ain't going what if he had said no i'm not dying for liars I'm not dying for whoremongers. I'm not dying for drug dealers. I'm not dying for prostitutes. I'm not dying for racists. I'm not dying for backbiters. I'm not dying for shockers. I'm not dying for the cheating. Y'all quiet. I knew. I see. I told y'all to shout earlier because <laughs> to enjoy Resurrection Sunday, you got to understand what it took to get to Sunday. And the reason why most of us can't really enjoy our lives is because we're not willing to suffer to get to the next level. Y'all quiet now. Most of us don't really want to go by the way of the cross. We want to take a shortcut straight to the crack house. Y'all quiet now. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants us to understand that Jesus Christ was totally innocent and he was the selfless person that ever lived. Somebody in this room asked you to do something little. You tripping. You quiet now. I'm going to need you to come out uh, early and, and help with the, the church service. What? Ain't nobody else? He didn't even say go to the cross and die. He just said, come and help us. I ain't, I ain't going to be able to do it. 
Y'all quiet now. Just a little bit of, of support and, and, and we crying about ain't nobody else doing nothing. Why do you think the Lord asked you then? Since everybody else turned him down, you going to turn him down too? <laughs> Crucifixion comes before resurrection. What if when they said we're going to put a crown of thorns on your head and the blood begin to run down that Jesus said, that's it, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. What if when he looked out at his disciples and they would all left him and there was one left by the name of Peter and he looked over and he was cussing. What if Jesus I took care of these boys three, three and a half years and now here I am in the midst of my crucifixion and everybody that ran off and left me. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. We're living in one of the most selfish hours of man's existence. I'm telling you the truth. With the, the most selfish generation that ever lived is on the planet right now. You just ask somebody to help you. What? If we don't have air conditioning and climate control and soft seats and get you out early, you won't even come to church. Oh, I'm watching the clock because I already know some of y'all going to turn into pumpkins any minute. Just... Easter eggs. Go to clocking out here. Clock, clock, clock. All these chickens. Go. Come on, let's go down this road. We're going to get you out. Now let's look at this. Look at this real quick. Look at Romans 5 and 7. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 5 and 7. Thank God for glasses. When you're 55, you're going to need some help. Amen. I'm still believing for 2020, but until it show up, thank you for the glasses. Uh-oh, here, here she come, here she come, Lisa Page. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, she come right up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all wasn't at the party, so y'all can't catch it, but the one that was here go, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey! If it had not have been for the Lord on my side, Look at Romans. I want to show it to you. Then we're going to go. Romans 5 and the 7th verse. Look what it says. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. You can't hardly find nobody to even die for a righteous man. Somebody that ain't done nothing wrong. They're good. They've been falsely accused. Let's keep it real, mamas and daddies, husbands and wives. You need me to die for you today. Hold up, Bubba. I really like you. By the fact, I throw some L-O-V-E on top of it. But you have to do this one by yourself. <laughs> Amen. Let's just keep it real. We're not trying to sign up to die for folks. Much as we murmur and complain, we like to live. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, but pre-adventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Somebody said when I was all jacked up, when I didn't have nothing coming, Jesus decided this, to, to die for me. Now y'all get this today. When you were born, Jesus had already died on the cross 2,000 years ago so that you would always have a way out. There's nobody in this room today that don't have a way out. The devil is a liar. I want you to know he already died, already knowing you were going to do drugs, go to jail, cheat on your wife, cheat on your husband, lie, cheat, steal, backbite, get all messed up in some kind of crazy religion. He already knew everything you were going to do, and he had the pre-revelation of what you were going to do, and yet he still put up. 
That's why I love him so much. How many know Jesus know all our business today and he still loves us? Come on here. Jesus already know what you've done and he's still reaching out to you. You mess with these church folks, they get a little information on you, they'll drop you like a rock. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't get caught up in human love. Because human love is based on condition. You do for me, I do for you. You cross me, I cross you. But Jesus said, I already know you a low down dirty dog and I still love you. I already know you got a whole pocket full of weed, but I still love you. Come on here. I already know. Yeah, you didn't lie over and over and over again. See, this is the thing. The Bible said he's married to the backslider. So you can't never get a divorce from Jesus. He said, even if you make your bed in hell, he said, I'll be with you. Come on. Much more than being now justified by his blood. Ah. We shall be saved from wrath through him. Come on, somebody shout glory. What if Jesus said, I ain't going to do it. Where would we be today? We would have no hope today. But we all have hope today. Amen. Let's get this real quick. Matthew 26. And let's look at 38. Matthew 26 and 38. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further, and he fell on his face. And praying, saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, somebody say, Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. We need every one of us to get a nevertheless in our mouth. Everybody in this room need to quit bargaining with God to say, if you do this, I'll do this. We need to say, Lord, if you don't do nothing else, nevertheless, I'm going to walk with you. Come on here. See, Jesus, he went into prayer and he was petitioning God that he did not have to go to the cross, but he said, nevertheless, he already knew that this was always on his assignment, but he thought he would go and petition the Father and see if he could get a pass, but he said, nevertheless. You know how many folks fall out with going to church? Folks who say, God, if I only get my song and my kind of uh, message and, and, the, and the right person sit beside me, then I'll worship. You ought to say, nevertheless, I don't care. If they don't sing my song and if they don't preach my message, I'm going to worship. Come on here. I don't care if the marriage is jacked up. I'm going to keep worshiping. I don't care if my friends turn their back on me. I'm going to keep worshiping. I'm going to worship while I got red notices. Come on here. I'm not going to worship only when I get my bills paid. But before they paid, I'm going to worship. Come on here. If my mama don't go, I'm going to worship. If my daddy don't go, I'm going to worship. If my children don't go, I'm going to can I get somebody to say, nevertheless? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if Jesus said, forget it then. If I got to go to the cross, skip it. I'm jumping my cloud. I'm out. See you. Come on, let's go. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them sleep. And said unto Peter, what? Could ye not watch with me one hour? Come on, y'all. How many times have we just thought they would at least hang out with us for at least one hour? We thought our friends, our family would at least be there for us for at least one hour. I ain't going to be able to do it. No, no, little Junior, he seems to be a little irritated today. You know the tulips is coming up and I need to go out there and fertilize. They had a blue light special. I was reading it in the newspaper, Kmart. When I get back from there, I'm going to check you. In your most dark, difficult moment, you better listen today. Don't put 
your faith and trust in man. Because if they walked away from Jesus in his hour...